हरे कृष्णा टू मेक पीपल सफर फॉर द सेक ऑफ मेकिंग दैम सफर इज द वेरी एसेंस ऑफ ईविल ऑल ऑफ अस आर वल्नरेबल टू पेन एंड वी हैव डीप रूटेड इन एट मैकेनिजम्स टू अवॉइड पेन एंड जनरली इफ यू आर सेंसिटिव टू पीपल then we don't want to cause pain to anyone if we step on someone's foot accidentally we apologize so apologize so now sometimes some people cause pain and instead of apologizing they actually find inflicting pain on others appealing not appa- appalling why is that because that is the the presence and the pervasiveness of evil in their con- in their consciousness in their hearts such people are ungodly or demoniac those streaks of ungodliness and demonicness have become so strong within them that the normal human sensitivity to pain is deliberately exploited by them to cause the harshest pain to others now of course sometimes pain needs to be inflicted the first of all just by living in the world pain is unavoidable sometimes it's too hot sometimes it's too cold that's unavoidable and sometimes pain needs to be inflicted just like when a doctor gives an injection a needle has to be pierced into the body but that is purposeful pain the doctor's purpose is not to cause pain but the purpose is to heal a disease which is causing pain so that is fine but some people cause pain simply for the sake of causing pain that means they get a perverse joy in seeing others suffer and especially in thinking and delighting in their own power to make others suffer and this is terrible krishna talks about such demoniac people in 164 in the bhagavad gita when he says दंभो दर्पो अभिमान क्रोध पारुष्यम अज्ञान चाजात पार्थ संपदमासुरी सो इसे सच पीपल पारुष्य दिस इज हार्शनेस सो हार्शनेस कैन बी इन स्पीच और इट कैन बी इन एक्शंस एंड सच पीपल दे आर सो हॉर्श हार्श दैट दे आर सेडिस्ट्स दे डेलिब्रेटली इन्फ्लिक्ट पेन ऑन अदर्स एंड दे डिलइट इन इट And Krishna talks about this again in 1614, 10 verses later, when such people think that asau maya hatha shatru hanishe cha paranapi ishvaro aham aham bhogi siddho aham balwan sukhi. Just see how clever I am. I have eliminated this enemy, and I will I will eliminate that also. So when such evil dominates our, anybody's consciousness, then such people are almost irredeemable. With them, we cannot deal with. in kid its gloves they cannot be offered forgiveness very easily they they need to be punished strongly so that they learn to curb the dark side within them so is evil present in the world yes it is definitely present in the hearts of many people and it is also present in some small quantity in our own hearts when we speak harsh words to people which we know will hurt them and then we sometimes delight in our sarcasm oh how much i hurt them and of course sometimes we may use sarcasm to make a point in a powerful way that opens people's eyes to the reality but sometimes we delight not in enlightening people but in inflicting people with pain and the small tendencies towards evil through needless verbal ag- aggression can eventually catapult into physical aggression and uh, far more intolerable forms of evil so when we understand that evil is not something far away but is present in each one of our hearts we can become cautious to counter its presence by invoking the opposite of evil that is good and the supreme good is god so when god reigns in our hearts then we seek to give others joy and remove others suffering and that is the vision of spiritual compassion as described in 632 in the bhagavad gita atma upam yena sarvatra samam pashyati yo arjuna 
सुखम वा यदि वा दुखम सयोगी पर मोमत दैट सच पीप दीपली वॉल स्पिरिचुअल इज रिकग्नाइज द सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ एवरी वन इन वॉन्टिंग जॉय एंड वॉन्ट फियरिंग पेन एंड दे ट्राई टू एक्ट इन अ वे दैट इंक्रीजेज द जॉय ऑफ एवरी वन एंड डिक्रीजेज द डिस्ट्रेस ऑफ एवरी वन थैंक यू हरे कृष्णा